Hello and welcome to Paladin Gaming. This is going to be a one-off special because I have a player entering a, turn a 40k tournament I'm running that uh, is having trouble figuring out how to use Battle Scribe, so I'm just going to do a quick tutorial for him here. And I'll make it public after the tournament so that... Uh, I'll make it public after the tournament so that I'm not... Uh, so that I'm not giving away his list before the tournament starts. So anyway, uh, as you can see, the all three panels in Battlescribe are blank. This is on desktop PC. Phone's a little different. Uh, so the first thing we do is go up here to the to the top right corner and click Create a New Roster. That opens this dialog. I can change the title of the roster here, put any notes I want here. I'm not going to do that because I would title it with his name. I don't want to give away his identity on, on YouTube. So... Uh, First thing we're going to do is put in a points cost. It's a 2,000 point tournament, so our points limit is 2,000. Pretty straightforward. Now we click Add Force, and that gives us this drop down. Uh, first, uh, these two drop downs. The first is all of the factions. He's playing Necrons, so I'm going to select Necrons. And the second is all the detachment types. Uh, his hand typed list here is a little unclear. It doesn't say what his, what his detachments are. So I'm going to, but from the look of things, I'm going to go with a battalion. And he also has a, he says super heavy detachment here at the bottom, but it's only one Lord of War. So I'm going to go with a super heavy auxiliary detachment. And that being done, so you click add force to add again for every detachment in the army. And you click OK. And that creates our roster. So, as you can see, we have a bunch of errors. It's because there's things we need to select and units we have to add to fill detachments. So, first things first, we add battle size. And define this. So, uh, how, it, how it works, over here on the left, we have all the options that we can add to the list. You add them to the list is here in the center. And um, modifying the options on the list is over here. The selected option on the list is over here on the right. You move that you put things from here onto the list by double clicking or clicking the plus over here on the edge. Double clicking is easier for me. Um, so anyway, we we add the battle size and we define the battle size as strike force so it knows how to calculate the command points. Um, and going down is units. H uh, di actually dynasty choice. We define dynasty next. Uh, dynastic code. It says dynasty merit. That's got to be a typo. I'm going to assume he means Mephrit. And now we get to his units. So down here, we, uh, we scroll down to HQ, and he has Illuminor Zeras. So we add Illuminor Zeras to the list. And an Overlord. Now the Overlord is more interesting because he has options. So the Overlord is the Warlord. So we click Warlord. Art from Artifacts of the Aeons, he has the Veil of Darkness, so we select that. And his Warlord trait is Enduring Will, so we select that. And for his weapon, he has a War Scythe, so we select that. And with that, we are done with HQ, so we can collapse HQ to make this easier to scroll around. This little carrot up here in the corner collapses the options. We're not using this anymore, we're not using Configuration anymore either. So for troops, we go for Necro. He has he's gone for Necron warriors. Five units of ten with Goss flares. So we uh, we can just click to add more Necron warriors, or we can right click on the Necron warriors. It's like duplicate. So there's three, four, and five, and there's all our troops. As it makes it a lot easier. Um. So, being done with troops, we go down to Elites. He has a unit of Death Marks. Uh, default, five Death Marks with Synaptic Disintegrators. And a unit of Lich Guard with War Sides. Also default. And down in Fast Attack, he has Canoptic Scarab Swarms. Three units of five, and I can already see a problem here. So, because we've modified this, that makes duplicating... Uh, even easier because so I duplicate that is if I add another thing of Scarab Swarms I have to modify it so rather than modify every one I get one the way I want it and duplicate it and he also has a squad of Tomb Blades 
which immediately introduces errors to the list because uh, we have too many selections from Fast Attack now. I'll have to get with him to uh, figure out what he wants to do about that because he can't enter with an illegal list. But it's actually kind of good for the purposes of this tutorial because it, sh it demonstrates how Battle Scribe flags errors. So anyway, moving on from Fast Attack into Heavy Support. He has a unit of Locust Destroyers. Says they're 165 points total, and I don't know how he gets it there, because they're 50 points per model and don't have any weapon options that bring them up to 55. I don't think. Let's see here. No. No, they don't. Nope. Nothing to edit. So... I'm not from I'm not a Necron player, so I'm just going off of what uh, Valscribe is telling me here. But and so that's his heavy support. So that's the uh, that is the complete battalion detachment. So we just collapse that and look at the super heavy detachment. So we have to go with a to pick a dynastic code for that too. He doesn't define a different one, so we'll stick with Mefrit. And his Lord of War for the super heavy auxiliary is a monolith. At 360 points, so he's sticking with four Ghost Flux, uh, Goss Flux arcs because four Death Rays would have a different points cost. So that's his list. Uh, he's leaving a fair number of points on the table and has too many fast attack slots. So I am going to contact him and uh, deal and figure out what he wants to do about altering this list. Now, once you got your list made. Uh, open roster for viewing is only available to uh, people who support Battlescribe, who pay money to su who subscribe to Battlescribe, and I don't. So, but that's okay. I've never felt the need to uh, the need. I've never felt the absence of that option. So this saves the roster. Uh, that button is red because the roster has errors in it. If I try to save it, it'll say it has validation errors and ask if I still want to save. Uh, so that save as. And that save as HTML if you want to do that for some reason. The reason I don't miss this is because this button, this I here, view, opens the roster for viewing. And you get to choose you know, full output or minimal output. And uh, you can define what costs it shows, what cate whether it shows categories or not, whether it shows uh, stat unit stats or rules. But yeah, so that's that's uh, fairly e that's fairly easily customizable. Uh, next is share, and clicking any of these will co will um, copy it to your clipboard in a format appropriate for the uh, for the format you chose. So Facebook will just be plain text. Forum will have b will have bulletin board code markup, and I assume email will have like regular bolding and italics and italics and, this, and such where appropriate. I've never emailed the list out of this, but each one of these will have different settings. You can also have a custom setting or there's an export option. I'm gonna send this to him on Facebook to ask him what he wants to fix. So I will select Facebook, and it's copied to clipboard. And this prints the roster, which opens the view the view roster thing only with a print option. And this is managed data, which uh, you open that up and it lets you choose which data modules you are you have installed for Battlescribe. So we're done with that, and that's basically how Battlescribe works. Um, so I hope this tutorial was useful to you, and we will uh, call this good. Uh, this video is going. I'm recording this on. Uh, Thursday night. This video is going to go live on Saturday uh, to to avoid uh, predating the tournament. 